everyone, this is the Batman Statue Collector and I'm once again coming to you right here from my Batcave. And this month we have another amazing featured collector for the Featured Collector series. Today we're going to be meeting Jason Stilwell. And so I'd like you to meet him right now. I'm Jason Stilwell and I'm this week's Featured Collector. All right, Jason, uh, first of all, I have my very first question that I want to ask is what got you into statue collecting in the first place? I think what got me into statue collecting was my passion for action figures. Uh, I remember when I was younger, I ended up automatically with my older brother's Star Wars figures. And uh, then, of course, I watched cartoons, He-Man and G.I. Joe, and started collecting those. I, there's just something about the, it's like, it's like you're, you can be the director of your own movie and you can create your storylines and you don't have to pay anybody other than you got to buy the figures and you can uh, you know you can kill off someone and then the next day you can you know have someone take revenge on them and it's just kind of like to me it was like I could make my own little movie and I had control of the set and I had control of the characters and uh, I think that's what makes uh, collecting uh, action figures so fun um, I remember one time for my dad got me the USS flag um, and it was $99.99, and I thought, wow, oh, this is the coolest thing. I, it, the, like this huge playset. set. Um, and, uh, and one time I was uh, sick, um, not feeling well, I was on the couch, and uh, my dad and my brother had gone out to the store and came back with a, a Penguin and Riddler action figures. And it's amazing how just a little piece of plastic can, like that was one of the best days of my life and I can remember that point and I felt terrible but when I saw the Penguin and, and Riddler um, in the blister cards I thought wow this is you know this is really cool and uh, just a very good memory. One of the problems I have is I don't really ever sell I only buy so uh, I've got my uh, collection in three places um, one of the places uh, that I work at in my office and then um, I actually right now don't even work in the office. I, I, it's got so much stuff in it and I got so many things on pre-order that I, I work in another office and this is kind of just more, the coworkers here call it the museum. Uh, I, people kept bumping into things when they came in and so I was afraid. I thought I need to work somewhere else so people aren't bumping into it. Then I have a, at my other work in the entrance, I have some, uh, some collectibles and then of course at my home, it's just a one bedroom apartment. And that's where I have uh, some of my, uh, a few of my other collect collectibles. But uh, one day, hopefully, uh, I'll get a house and then I can display them wherever All I All right, want. Jason. So was there a certain property that first got you really interested in collecting uh, right at the very, very beginning? Probably my favorite property is G.I. Joe. And that that's probably what I've collected the most of over the years as far as just action figures and uh, play sets and, and vehicles, but what got me into the bigger bigger collecting is uh, Star Wars. Um, the first thing that I uh, ended up getting was the General Grievous life-size bust. It was on eBay, and I knew I wanted the Darth Vader life-size bust, but it was more expensive. So I thought I'll test the waters and, and get this um, General Grievous bust. Um, and it's funny, I really thought about it for a while because when it's your first more expensive piece, you're kind of like, oh, am I really going to spend this much money on it? Even though, like now, and now when I look back, that it was hardly anything, uh, price-wise. But um, I got it, I opened it up, and I thought, wow, this is the, I've got a life-size General Grievous bust. You know, who else has this? And I, and I, it's mine, and it's right here. So I thought it was, you know, it was really cool, and I knew I needed to get more. So I was in pursuit of some more life-size busts, and some of the Star Wars uh, one six figures by Sideshow and the dioramas. And then I started doing the premium format figures and thought those uh, were really, really cool. Probably my favorite uh, statue is the Captain Hook premium format figure. It took me a while to even order that. And it just, I don't know why, but it just happens, I kind of like, when I walk by that one, I kind of think, hey, that's a, that's a really cool statue. Probably my favorite line uh, of all right now is the, the Arkham line. I think it's really neat that they're, uh, Prime 1 Arkham line, I think it's neat that they're making uh, so many characters, and uh, I think the characters' uh, designs are really cool to begin with, and then the detail and paint that Prime 1 uh, puts into them 
and the fact that they're one third scale, the bigger the better for me. Um, even though I don't have any way to display them properly, but I just really like the big big statues. Um, but that's probably my favorite line, just the, with the amount of characters and the and then and then the the quality they put into it. And I hope to get uh, uh, more to come of those. Um, All right. So, what is your favorite statue or uh, item that you have in your collection right now? What would you say your number one favorite item is in your collection? All right, so if you could own any piece that's out there right now, regardless of cost, what piece would you buy and why? My, if I could get any piece, regardless of price, I'd probably say the uh, Gamorrean Guard life-size bust. I missed out on that, and the, uh, and the Admiral Akbar is also. And it's just hard for me to want to get them now because... I knew that I could have get them, got them back then for, for, for less, for cheaper. So it's hard for me to want those. But if regard, if I didn't have to pay for them, then that's the one I. Those are the two I pick. All right. Last but certainly not least, if you could have any company create any product, what would you like to see made? What is your dream grail? What is your dream piece that you would love to see produced? Uh, and let us know why. If I could have a company make any statue that I wanted, I'd say the Cobra Commander on Throne. I think that would be cool. I'd take uh, the bigger the better. It might have a chance by Prime 1 in quarter scale because they're making a G.I. Joe quarter scale. Um, of course, but uh, the, I'd take it one third scale, I'd take one half scale. Um, but that would probably be my uh, ultimate uh, piece. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy getting to know Jason a little bit better. And uh, now I would like to show off his collection a little bit. He, he has an amazing collection, tons of awesome, amazing pieces. And so I would like to uh, show you his cave right now. appreciate the Batman statue collector having me on his channel and um, to share my story and some of my collection with all you and until next time he'll see you in the Batcave